This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. After arriving at the incident, follow your incident procedures. Retrieve the hub and tablet from the truck. If the hub is on the clip charger, it will wake up when the first cylinder is opened. Otherwise, press the power button to switch it on manually. Place the hub in line of sight of the entry area of breathing apparatus wearers. Open the FireGround app on your tablet. After opening the cylinder valves and registering via RFID card or FOB on the SCBA, an incident automatically starts in the app. Now your team members appear in the Standby panel on the right-hand side of the screen. Their initial pressure readings are visible at a glance. At the same time, with a connected web application account, incident data is sent to the cloud for remote monitoring automatically. In case you are at an incident where multiple entry control areas are needed, you can set up multiple hubs with multiple apps. At the beginning of an incident, you will be able to see most of the BA wearers at the incident in your tablet's global standby list. Once your SCBA wearers appear in the standby panel, create a team by dragging and dropping firefighters into the control area on the left as you deploy them to the incident. As soon as you have assigned the BA wearers in your area to teams on your tablet, they will disappear from the global standby list of all other tablets in use at this incident. Only one app user can take responsibility for one BA wearer at a time. If needed, edit the team name to reflect a team's location or task and the radio channel by tapping on the respective fields in the team header. Teams can include up to four firefighters. To add more members, drag additional firefighters from the standby panel into a team to deploy them in the incident. Now you have one team of three firefighters. The application supports up to six teams. Add more by dragging firefighters from the standby panel and placing them in the empty space next to your existing team. Your team is ready to go. Signal them to enter the incident and record it in the app. To do so, select the Team Status drop-down in the header, changing the status of your first team to Entering. During the incident, you can update your team status to reflect their activities. Our telemetry system automatically transmits pressure readings from all connected BA wearers, including remaining time based on their breathing rate providing a comprehensive overview of each firefighter's status. When a firefighter's cylinder pressure reaches the amber pressure threshold, their user block is highlighted. This means that their remaining pressure has dropped below 150 bar. The buddy light system used on our Airboss Connects is also applied to the Fireground app. This threshold is freely configurable in the app's setting menu. The pressure bar turns red at the configured threshold, highlighting BA wearers running low on air. If a firefighter's pressure reaches a critical level, the SCBA's acoustic warning whistle is activated and a low pressure alert is sent via telemetry and displayed on the app. This will also activate the alarm sounder on your hub. Acknowledge the alert in the user panel by first selecting the firefighter and then ticking the alarm in the User Details panel. The app receives alerts and alarms from your firefighters' SCBAs and can send signals. These can indicate the following. Manual Distress Alert, Evacuation Alarm, Automatic Distress Alert, Withdrawal Alert, Thermal Alert. When a firefighter activates the manual distress alert by pressing the SOS button on their Airboss Connect, your app's top bar flashes red and the alarm symbol appears next to their name, 
If sound is on, your tablet beeps. In addition, the Fireground Hub also provides audio and visual alerts for telemetry alarms. Tap the firefighter's name to open their user panel and view details. See which alert has been triggered and how long it has been active. You should acknowledge each alert to inform the firefighter you've seen it. To do so, tap the tick icon next to the alert in the user panel. The acknowledged alert turns yellow in the app and the firefighter receives an acknowledged notification on their SCBA. This also stops the alarm sounder of the hub. The alarm will be displayed in a yellow, acknowledged state until it has been cancelled on the SCBA. Depending on the SCBA settings, this can either be deactivated by the user pressing both side buttons or by the user inserting the tally key. The building is unsafe and requires immediate evacuation of all teams. You can issue evacuation orders to individual teams or all teams. Firefighters with Airboss Connect in the selected group will receive an evacuation signal on their harness. To evacuate the team, you can press the yellow evacuation button in the team's header. Or if you want to issue a global evacuation for all teams, the evacuation button in the lower right corner. Now an evacuating icon appears in the user block of firefighters receiving the order. All these wearers will also receive an unavoidable alarm notification on their Airboss Connect. After sending the evacuation, the Fireground app tracks confirmation from all BA wearers. Those who confirm the evacuation alarm on their SCBA will be marked with a check mark in the app, providing direct accountability for the evacuation progress. Should there be an interruption of the telemetry connection between any of the SCBAs and the hub, there will be an out-of-range alarm displayed. The BA wearer will be alarmed by his Airboss Connect with an audible alert and the out-of-range alarm icon displayed on the digital gauge. You will also be alarmed on the app and can see exactly which BA wearer just lost his telemetry connection and when his last pressure readings were received. At this point of the incident, the BA wearers can deploy a repeater. After deployment, the repeater will automatically re-establish the telemetry connection. You and your BA wearers will see that you are connected again, and the repeater icon on your tablet indicates a repeater is in use. The app will also inform you when the hub's battery is running low. This information will be displayed in the white header bar of your app. During the incident, anything done on the app is recorded in the incident log and is part of the post-incident report. If you want to see what has happened so far, click on the highlighted button in the blue bar. Importantly, you can add personal notes to the log, capturing details about the entire incident or specific teams. The app provides versatile options for documenting radio reports, incident observations or decisions, allowing you to create text notes and attach images, sketches and voice recordings. Add an incident note by tapping the Add Note button on the blue toolbar. Enter your documentation in the text input field. To attach media files, select the plus icon and choose the media. Send your message, with or without media, by clicking the check mark. Even if another fire brigade or truck without our telemetry SCBAs joins the incident, the FG app enables you to monitor everyone on the scene. Simply add a non-telemetry firefighter to your monitoring section. You'll need to request the pressure readings by radio and track them manually. Everyone will be accounted for in one place. Tap the plus icon and select Add Firefighters to the board. On the next screen, enter the firefighter's main details, name and SCBA type. Selecting the right cylinder size enables the app to estimate pressure consumption. After pressing Add, 
The firefighter will appear in the standby section of your board. During the operation, for a new pressure update of any non-telemetry firefighter, just tap on the firefighter. This opens the pressure menu on the right side, allowing you to input their pressure reading. Then confirm. An automatic timer next to the firefighter's name reminds you to check on them at regular intervals. When your incident is over and firefighters are no longer deployed, finalize the incident on the app. Once all firefighters have turned off their SCBAs, the Connect sets will log off from the hub. Ensure you change the team status of all deployed teams to Finished. Tap the blue plus icon in the toolbar and select Finish Incident from the menu. Now you have the opportunity to review and complete essential incident details such as incident type, potential hazmat exposure, incident address, and your identity. These details can also be added or edited while the incident is still running. Click Save and Finish Incident. If you're using the connected web application, incident data, including the incident log, is now sent to your account and securely backed up. It can also be uploaded manually later, while connected to a station's Wi-Fi. Not all products, features or services mentioned in this video are for sale in all countries. Contact your local Draeger representative for more information. Mentioned trademarks are only registered in certain countries and not necessarily in the country in which this material is released. Go to www.draeger.com trademarks to find the current status.